Children with physical and learning disabilities got the opportunity to learn how to play golf today. And ABC7's Jason McNabb learned a thing or two himself. He files this report from Butterfield Trail Golf Club. The Call Me Able's Adaptive Golf Clinic really shows that golf knows no boundaries. Bingo. Oh, just a little hot. A little hot. It was a special opportunity for those who may not have had the chance or even a previous interest to get out on the putting green Sunday. And we just talk to people and, and try to get them aware that there's this whole thing called adaptive golf out there. You may remember Gianna Rojas, the founder of Adaptive Golfers, who was born without a left hand. Her organization teamed up with Call Me Able, a local foundation aimed to help children with disabilities to host Sunday's clinic. One of the things that I'm out here for is that Call Me Able is looking to put together opportunities and resources for the children of El Paso who have different abilities. I don't like to say dis, nothing should be disabled, we're not disordered, and give them opportunities that normally they don't, they're not exposed to. Rojas's work has led to innovative ways for those with physical disabilities to play, such as these special clubs created by Ping, so that everyone has a chance to golf. So what this allows them to do is to be able to get up underneath his arm and squeeze here and he's able. Of course, I had to learn myself swinging the club the same way as someone with no hands would. There you go. Yeah. Ways for people with cognitive disabilities to learn golf are also shown and used such as these rings. Your feet are towards the green. You have a red and a red. Back up to the red and forward to the red. While I didn't get my skills up to par with some of these children here today, I learned a lot in the process. Jason McNabb, ABC7.